What's up, family? Some pretty impressive breaking news coming out yesterday as the battle between Hamas and Israel continues to intensify. Israel continues to bombard Gaza, leaving thousands of people dead as well as displaced. Israel is not taking this lightly as they pummel Gaza uh, with strikes as they continue to get closer into their territories. Yes, guys, Israel ground forces continues to expand over Gaza's operation. And yes, guys, they are getting closer and closer into the northern area of Gaza. And guys, they are pretty much relentless at this particular time. The war is not over yet. In fact, the war is not going to be over for quite some time now. And yes, guys, Gaza ended up receiving a large aid shipment uh, recently as they just hit more than 8,000 people uh, dying from this particular war uh, by Israel pounding them over and over again. But uh, anyways, guys, they are saying that Israel continues to widen its military offensive against Gaza area, uh, definitely directly towards Hamas. And uh, this war is not going to be over very soon, guys. In fact, the big question for United States people is that, uh, is this going to lead to a World War III? Well, guys, in fact, a lot of people are thinking that this might actually do the trick, especially as Russia continues to have issues with Ukraine and then China is sitting back just waiting patiently. Uh, so anyways, guys, yes, guys, World War III is on the horizon. And guys, we don't necessarily know how this uh, Israel and Hamas war is going to end up at. But anyways, guys. Like I said, over the past 34 hours, uh, Gaza area has been pretty much suffering from a blackout, which also includes of having no internet, in which, guys, we just heard directly from Elon Musk, which is the CEO of Tesla, as well as the formerly product known as Twitter. Uh, Musk has said that he will provide Starlink, which will pretty much provide uh, connectivity to the internet to aid organizations in the Gaza area. Elon Musk pledges uh, comes after Gaza pretty much left with total internet blackout. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, Israel was not necessarily happy about this support offered uh, from Elon Musk from the United States. And in fact, Israel ended up responding saying that, look, it will fight Elon Musk's efforts to supply Starlink internet to internationally recognized aid organizations in Gaza. And yes, guys, uh, we have seen this time and time again from the CEO of Tesla in which he has offered Starlink internet services to multiple countries as well. We just saw it over a year ago where he provided that same thing to Ukraine during this particular war against Russia. So uh, this is not new what we are seeing, but there is some controversy in regards to the United States supporting Israel, but then Elon Musk living here and providing internet support to those in Gaza. So uh, anyways, guys, this is stirring up a lot of havoc right now. I don't know if President Biden Biden is going to necessarily pick up the phone and call Elon Musk in regards to this particular pledge of internet services, but it looks like Israel is definitely not happy about the entire situation. Uh, but anyways, guys, in other news, we just saw some breaking news that just happened yesterday in which an anti-Israel mob ended up storming an airport in Russia. Take a look at this video right here, guys. So 
as you can see guys that particular video footage uh, which has been circulating on social media showed an angry crowd running through the airport reportedly seeking people arriving from Tel Aviv and yes some of the crowd ran onto the runway and ended up surrounding an aircraft getting on top of that aircraft and Russia's aviation agency said security forces later brought the situation under control so so luckily no one was hurt no one was injured in this particular incident but it does raise major questions in regards to how safe things are right now so uh, anyways guys like I said this is going to affect the United States in which uh, just over the past four days or so guys the United States ended up sending about 900 troops directly to the Middle Eastern area to bolster some of its defenses as the attacks continues to surge and yesterday is just one example of those particular attacks uh, at the airport uh, but anyways guys luckily like I said no one was hurt but the United States is showing their support support for Israel, sending our troops as well as uh, sending at least 50 fighter jets to the Middle Eastern areas as well to help protect some of the U.S. troops because we just talked about it on the previous video where our own troops were actually being attacked. Uh, so uh, anyways, guys, we definitely want to provide our support over there. And it looks like uh, this particular support in regards to sending our troops over there as regards to sending our warplanes to the Middle Eastern areas as well. And uh, uh, it looks like we have support from both sides of the aisles, the Democrats as well as the Republicans, because, guys, you already know that the United States has to be the, you know, uh, defender of everything, guys. This is coming directly from the Pentagon in which they announced this information in regards to sending those fighter jets over to the Middle East areas. Are we on the verge of going to World War III? Well, we also heard from Elon Musk again, in which he is warning us, as well as warning the president, President Biden, in regards to the situation that is happening right before our eyes, saying that Biden, specifically himself, uh, this is leading us into World War III. And as you can see right here, guys, it says that Elon Musk warns of World War III potential if things continue to escalate. And yes, guys, we are talking about Elon Musk, which is the richest person in the world right now, uh, which is a tech billionaire. He said on Monday that the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza and Russia's ongoing war in Ukraine raised the potential for World War III. He said in a statement that, look, we need to figure out peace in Ukraine, and I think we need to restore normal relations with Russia. Uh, this is what he posted on his Twitter account or uh, the new platform X on Monday. World War III is a civilizational risk that we may not recover from, so we need to prioritize avoiding World War III. That's what actually matters, he said, and not what happened in World War I, and have a regional conflict rapidly becoming a global conflict. The billionaire had previously offered a proposal to end the Ukrainian war, which would have potentially uh, upset the Ukrainians altogether. So uh, anyways, guys, he has called for a ceasefire again this past Monday, saying the war against Russia is totally helpless. We have got to end this. It is pretty much leading us down the wrong path in which, uh, like he suggested, that if we continue to do this, continue to go down this same path, uh, we're pretty much headed to World War III. But anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this? Do you agree with Elon Musk? I know some people don't necessarily like him. Some people do, but uh, he has a point, guys. If we keep on uh, putting our hands in the cookie jar in every single war from everyone else out there, we obviously are putting ourselves at risk of having our own World War III or war. Uh, so yes, guys, what do you think about this? Comment down below and let me know your take on this. Uh, but uh, in regards to some other news that we did hear from from the vice president of President Biden, which is Kamala Harris, uh, she said a statement this weekend as well, saying that, look, U.S. has absolutely no intention of sending troops to Israel or Gaza. Uh, so anyways, guys, that is contradictory because we already know that we have sent at least 900 troops to the Middle Eastern areas, not necessarily Gaza, but to the Middle Eastern areas just to show some support for Israel. President Biden has already visited did the Prime Minister of Israel showing his support from there, as well as some other lawmakers in Congress have also visited Israel just to show the United States support 
for this particular war, providing additional uh, military equipment, fighter jets, as well as some of our troops just to show an effort of uh, we stand with NATO, we are strong, we are all sticking together, and we are going after these terrorist groups, uh, Hamas, and trying to end it all together. So uh, anyways, guys, what do you think about all of this? Do you think that we are pretty much going to head to a World War III? Comment down below and let me know how you feel about this, guys. Uh, hopefully things will change before the end of this year. We have seen too much this year, last year, the year before. We are tired. The Americans are tired. Social Security recipients are tired. Our SNAP beneficiaries are tired. All of us are tired, guys. Wouldn't you agree? Are you tired? Comment down below and let me know if you are tired or not, guys. I know I sure am. But anyways, guys, uh, like I said, this is some breaking news. And uh, this thing is going to continue on. And it looks like Israel is not slowing down. They are continuing to make more efforts, more ground to the area that they are going after in Gaza. But hopefully this will turn out better than what we can see right now before our eyes but anyways guys that's all i have for you today and i hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today well anyways guys that's all we have for you today but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description there are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash such as signing up with webull where they're giving away 12 free stocks after you deposit at least one dollar also don't forget about signing up for rakuten where they're the number one cashback website out there right now once you sign up and use it for the first time, they are going to give you an additional $30 for free. And then also don't forget about signing up for the Amazon Prime membership where you can get 30 days for free. Uh, those are some great opportunities, but you can check all of them down below in the description. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.